Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Rafam Heroic Deck Guide. This is the last boss in the game, the very, very last one, and it is quite a long boss battle indeed. Um, there is a lot of stuff that I have to go over here, so I'm just going to get right into the deck list. It is on the right-hand side, uh, pretty similar to the one that we used in normal mode, but there are a couple more cards that I have added, such as uh, Deathwing and uh, an Entomb, um, stuff like that. So. Um, the deck list looks like Twilight Whelp, Resurrect, Worm Rest Agent, Shadow Word Death, Valence Chosen, Arcanized Soul Priest, Mass Dispel, Twilight Guardian, Azure Drake, Blackwing Corruptor, Holy Nova, Vol'jin, Entomb, Light Bomb, Alexstrasza, Ysera, Deathwing, and Mind Control. So, if you, um, if you don't have some of those cards, like, say, Deathwing, or Ysera, or Alexstrasza, or Vol'jin, um, for those higher cost cards, you can replace them with any high impact um, minion. Um, just a, not not minion specifically, but dragon, uh, if you have dragons. So there's like a six mana, six, six dragon, which is pretty good. Um, honestly here, your, your hero power costs two, so it's not always right to use it every turn. Um, but it usually, like about maybe 50% of the time, gives you a way to deal uh, with the 10-10 minion that Rafam's hero power will summon. Um, in terms of mulligan for this list, though, you're going to want to stick with uh, Twilight Whelp, Wormrest Agent, Villain's Chosen, um, Twilight Guardian would probably be a keep if you already have another dragon, and, um, and a dragon. Um, besides that, you want to try to get a hero power out quite quickly um, because it's very important um, that... Uh, you have a way to deal with the first 10-10. If you don't, um, you will get run over quite quickly, and uh, and it will not be very fun. So, if you see here, I um, I actually got what I would consider to be uh, the worst um, artifact, which is replace your hand with unstable portals. You usually don't want to do that. I have a Shadow Word Death here, which is also something you should keep if uh, in Mulligan. Um, you should definitely keep Shadow Word Death because it is 3 mana, and will deal with his 10-10. Um, I get a pretty bad 5-drop. Uh, it's a 4-3, uh, just statted minion, because it's battle cries where most of its value comes from. Um, so definitely not something good. Um, he gets Death Rattle's trigger twice, uh, which isn't that important. Um, the game plan here in this entire deck is kind of just... Um, you want to you wanna get your, your value cards like um, Shadow Word Death and also use your hero power to deal with the 1010s that he summons. And then with those 1010s, um, you want to <clears throat> just gain a lot of value and uh, not, not with the 1010s, but uh, with your other mana and your other cards. Uh, you're going to gain a lot of value and be able to... Um, you're going to be able to just slowly, very, very slowly kill him. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm just using my hero power. Um, I can gain four mana crystals, so basically double in innervate here. Um, and I don't want to use my Shadow Word Death because I want to save that. But I'm going to mind control uh, this 7-7. Seven, seven. Usually you'd want to save your mind control for um, like one of the 10-10s ten that has a strong... Um, that has a strong... Uh, like uh, card text, but in this case, I decided I was just gonna use it on the 7 7 uh, to protect myself uh, next turn from taking any damage. Now, here it's kind of tempting for me to just um, actually play uh, like Deathwing or Light Bomb and just clear the board, but uh, I wanna get as much damage in as possible um, this turn just because um, I. Uh, I want to be able to deal damage to his face because I'm only able to do that once every three turns. So I did play that and gave myself a free uh, draw two cards, which is okay. It allows me to get a little bit more value out here. Um, but besides that, uh, I'm leaving quite a bit up. He is uh, going to take seven damage here, and it won't really matter because he is immune. Um, so kind of really, really good for him. Um, he has certain... Um, spells that cost 10 mana that he can use uh such as that one that he just used um i think the list is something like um he can give a minion plus 10 plus 10 he can deal 10 damage randomly split among all enemies he can fill his board with three three money mummy zombies he can deal five uh actually no i think i think that's it 
those are those and um, I think maybe he has more um, there's also like other things though um, uh, that we can get such as you know summoning a pit snake or, or turning sorry not summoning but turning a minion into a pit snake deal 10 damage randomly split among all characters um, all the artifacts that we can get are free uh, there's one to replace your hand with unstable portals which is in my opinion uh, the worst one um, like, uh, we could discover a minion and gain three copies of it. It's just things like that. Um, quite a few of them, though, do actually deal with uh, the 1010s. Um, so as you can see here, I'm kind of like, I don't really want to play my Light Bomb, but it's really the only way for me to deal with all these three threes. Um, and then I can I can heal up and, uh, and end my turn. I can Entomb his 1010 next turn, but I'm not going to be able to deal any damage to his face. Um, so he gave the minion uh, plus 10 plus 10. So basically it means that this, my next turn, it basically has to be in tomb now. Um, even if I wasn't going to do it before, which I probably was going to anyways. Um, it's just, yeah, too good to pass up here. So I put that into my deck and now in the future, I can actually draw Lord Slither the Spear, um, which will be quite good. He decides to um, use 10 mana his entire turn to just deal 10 damage to my face, which I'm kind of okay with. Um, he's not playing a threat and um, it allows me to take uh, initiative on the board. Uh, Vol'jin is really good in this deck just because um, all of his stuff has high health anyways, so we can uh, replace it with Vol'jin and then use something that has like two attack to um, to deal with it. So here he uses uh, his mummy stuff again and I can I can use this uh, deal five damage to all characters and just get rid of all of them and play my Emerald Drake, uh, use my hero power, <clears throat> um, discover a minion. I decided to go for think shifting shade a lot of the decks in uh, I was only able to actually get two because my hand was full but a lot of the cards in his deck are pretty good so if I'm able to steal those cards that's pretty good as you can see I have 10 cards here um I didn't really want to use any of the zero mana spells that I had but uh, I'm gonna overdraw one uh, here he made that a 2020 um isn't too big of a deal for me because I can just play Vol'jin um or transform it into a pit snake. It would be a really big uh, Vol'jin if I did uh, end up getting it. Um, here I can get a card from his deck. I got in Tomb, which I already have some, but it gives me another answer to his stuff. Um, it would have been a good turn if I was able to play like, you know, um, Vol'jin, make it a 20 health Vol'jin, and then um, play like my Blackwing Corruptor if I hadn't burned it. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> um, that was not able to happen. Uh, my Ysera did get turned into a 0-2 stone dude, which kind of sucks. Um, means that uh, my card draw isn't there, which I don't really mind because my hand is so full at this point anyways. I decided to resurrect, hoping to get one of the big ones, and I got a 1-1, one, one, so definitely not what I was looking for. Um, but he's kind of low at this point, um, so deal four damage to all enemies. That's... Um, it's actually pretty good. Uh, it'll deal three damage and perfectly take care of the three threes. Um, none of my stuff is really good at this point, though. Uh, so I just decide, you know, I don't, I don't want to do any of this. I'm just gonna end turn. He makes that a three three, uh, which I don't care that much about. <laughs> Decides to slam the one one, uh, and then use an unstable portal. Again, not really doing much here. Um, got a bad card off of it as well. And the staff is almost ready. I kind of Lord Slither the Spear, which is uh, just pretty good here. Um, not exactly in this situation because uh, I need to start clearing some of his board uh, for next turn. Uh, but Lord Slither the Spear just in general is uh, pretty good. Um, so just uh, going to do this and then deal four damage to all enemies while they are all there. Acts like a Consecration. Um, and then I'll play the Lord Slither the Spear. And now... Uh, I'll have a 10-10 and I can deal 10 damage to him uh, next turn as long as it doesn't get turned into stone which I'm really hoping it doesn't and <sighs> that's the second time in a row where the random enemy that gets turned into stone is the worst case scenario for me so um, yeah pretty unfortunate but um <clears throat> here I am able to clear board if I used my light bomb but uh, instead, what I decide to do is just um, use my Holy Nova 
and I actually got a Twisting Nether, which is uh, pretty good if I ever get behind uh, on board here, just because um, Twisting Nether is uh, pretty good. He stole my um, my Vol'jin, unfortunately, but um, I should should be able to stabilize from this um, pretty easily, maybe. Side to hero power first. I got a boom bot, which means uh, once you start getting the boom bots, you're completely out of artifacts and you're on your own from that point. Um, so, yeah, it's only going to be boom bots from now on. Um, so, I just have to basically my hero power has become useless. Uh, so, I can't use it. I hit the, the dude for one, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm kind of getting a little bit low on health at this point. Uh, Holy Nova will help me later. Um, I think I hero power here again, and I got another boom bot, uh, which is all I'm going to get from now on. So, yeah, I'm basically on my own to deal with the uh, wrath of 1010s at this point. Uh, he gave me a curse. This time, though, I actually can't deal with it um, and burned my mind control because I had a curse in my hand, which really sucks. I'm starting to add cards to my deck. I'll be able to do it once more. Um, which will mean that my will uh, I'll start fatiguing a bit later. Uh, he doesn't have any secrets, so um, I just decide to find an artifact, get another boom bot, and uh, slowly, very very slowly, I will um, start to be able to deal damage to his face. Um, again, almost out of cards. I drew Lady Nazjar, which is uh, what I'll play here. Um, I don't really want to play. Uh, Deathwing because it essentially is like an all-in strategy if Deathwing dies uh, then I'm screwed so yeah I don't want that um, this is actually good if it gets destroyed by um, uh, Lady Nazjar because it is uh, pretty uh, low mana cost anyways um, his uh, his shade and it also has a negative battle cry um, so it, that's actually pretty good if it gets destroyed by Lady Nazjar so I was thinking about leaving it up and I think I did yep and it gets turned into a 5-5 so from a 4-7 into a 5-5 he gets another 10-10 um, yeah it's uh, a lot of damage to my face but at this point um, I most likely have lethal um, just unless Lady Nazjar decides to, to screw me um, I might not have had lethal but i think i would uh, either way because of the um holy nova as well as the usera awakens so there we go i um i can just attack into his face and win and uh, and that's it that's entirely it for this entire um adventure uh if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe um uh, we'll have every other boss guide in the game if you haven't done them yet um They'll be on screen now and links in the description. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.